Hey everyone, welcome to the Crew Dog's Doghouse Den office. And what I want to show you today, okay, is some questions have come in. I've got postings and emails about these things asking me that they have uh, called up the track phone and they couldn't get the answer. They also went through their little, uh, I guess, call it the use book, handbook, user's manual, whatever you want to call it, that they got when they first got the phone. It doesn't go into the details. So let me show you. Question is, okay, so let me not lose my camera here. What are all these symbols on top? The little, whatever it is with the line through it, the one X, the little musical note, this right here, and there's sometimes you get a whole bunch of weird ones up in here too. What do all those mean? Well, let me show you. You go to your menu. You go to your settings. And then this is only on some phones, not all of them, okay? Oops. Wrong one. There we go. Phone info. Icon glossary. Ta-da! There it is. Okay, the one up on top, like right there, is signal strength. I got a lot of bars. It means it's strong. The uh, like the tower, like that, with the red dot, means there's no service at all. An R will show up sometimes, letting you know that you're in roaming, so you're going to be going through more minutes. The little phone off that'll be up here will say you're in the airplane mode. The little white receiver like telephone, it means it's in use. Little blue VP means voice privacy. A little uh, red, I can't tell if that's an X or what it is, it means it's on a data call. There we go. Let me not cut it off. Dormant, it's a little blue in there. And that right there means that the speaker is on. If you go like, you know, you're talking on the phone and you want to have it on speakerphone, you hit that, let you know that you're on speakerphone. There we go. Right up on top there. It's like a little whatever it is. With the line through it, it means 911 only. That's the location. I'm going to get into that in just a minute and let you know what that is. Okay. Digital status. That would show up. I believe it's going to come over in here letting you know what type of uh, phone call you're receiving. 1X, that's where we're at right now, 1X status, which means you're on regular phone, uh, 3G or whatever it might be. A little clock sometimes will be up here letting you know that your alarm clock is set and the alarm is on. You'll get a little envelope up there, which means you have a new message, text message. A little blue, I think it says VM, means that you have a voicemail. TTY is uh, for hearing impaired. Uh, well, you can set that, okay. What it does is that it'll send up like a, a text message. And you can also text it and you can send it over the phone system. Bluetooth on is just the Bluetooth. And then when it's lit up, you're connected to a vehicle or a device, whatever it is, which is Bluetooth. Card, which is none in here right now means that the uh, memory card is in there and anything that you do, whatever it is, will get stored to the memory card. Mass storage. Okay, right now I don't have a mass storage, which means that you're uh, through the USB, uh, the mass storage. Uh, if you go to hook up to the PC, it'll say, you know, engage to mass storage, which will be a, basically the computer talking to your card. Security. Ringer on, like right there. Silence all, which means that you know it's totally silent. Vibrate, which is the things plus also the musical note and there. This one here, okay, is just vibrate only. That's your battery strength right there. Low battery is a battery with no bars at all in it, so it's a low battery. Auto answer, set that, and as soon as it rings, it'll boom, pick up by itself. And you're back to the very beginning again. But that's your icon glossary. Now, let's go back to the location on. Okay, what this does, okay, is when you 
call. You make a call, okay? It's set right now, okay, on 911 only, which means you can go ahead and call. And it's sending out like a, if you want to call it like a locator beacon. It sends out a GPS signal that uh, law enforcement or whomever it might be is able to pick up on. And then they're able to follow that down. And then if you don't know where you're at, you're lost, uh, you're incapacitated, whatever it is, and you're calling 911, they can lock on and they can find you. Now, location on, okay, you can set that. Location is set. Okay. Now, I've been told several things. I've been told, okay, that with this location on, okay, the phone is consistently or constantly sending out a beacon or a locator tone. So if somebody, like law enforcement, whomever, knows what your, uh, what would you call it, like, uh, not a URL, but like what your station number, what your identifier is, it sends it out, okay, they can do that. I've also been told it only works when you're on, when you're talking on the phone. When you talk on the phone, okay, that it's sending out that beacon as well so that they're able to home in on you and they can find out where you're at. So, example, okay, if you're going out skiing or you're going out camping or you're going out in the wilderness, mountain climbing, whatever it is, you should have that turned on so that if you do happen to get lost, I don't know where I'm at, leave it on. And then when they go out and for search and rescue, they might be able to find you with that right there, even though it might be invading your privacy. If you're laying on the ground and you're not breathing anymore, which means that, you know, you're dead, I don't think your privacy really means anything to you anymore. But if you have this on when you're out somewhere and that's on like that, and then the authorities, whoever it is, are able to find you, you might be saying, well, they might have invaded my privacy, but hey, <laughs> they found me, and I'm not lying in the bottom of a box somewhere nine months later, a bunch of bones. So, right there you go. I am sorry that I used some, uh, I guess you can call wordings like that kind of graphic, but I'm trying to get the point across. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Oop, wrong one. So. That's what those symbols on there means, and that's what the locator is as well. So, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked the video. And I do not work for TrackPhone. I do not represent TrackPhone or Net10. I do not represent Samsung. I am just a person who just wants to uh, help people out. And if you look at my, uh, my channel, you'll see I have a lot of postings on there for TrackPhone because I use the phone a lot. So, I hope you had a good day. This is the Crew Dog. Ow!